You're listening to Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk. Each week, your host, Polly Requa, interviews veterinarians and individuals in the pet industry from across the nation answering pet questions. Bark and Wag podcast is produced weekly for your enjoyment, and show notes can be found at BarkandWag.com under the podcast tab. That's B-A-R-K-N-W-A-G.com. Please remember to subscribe to Bark and Wag 15-Minute Vet Talk. Thank you for listening to Bark and Wag 15-Minute Vet Talk. Bark and Wag is dedicated to protecting our dogs through advocacy, education, and supporting like-minded dog lovers by selling custom pet products. Bark and Wag is excited to announce our new partnership with a Colorado hemp farm to produce a line of CBD products for your pets. Bark and Wag has CBD pet tincture available in 300, 750, 1200, and 2400 milligrams. Bark and Wag CBD is pet safe, no THC, it's made in the USA, and is CO2 extracted. Please check out Bark and Wag's website, BarkinWag.com. That is B A R K, the letter N W A G.com, to see our line of CBD and awesome merchandise. We love pooch ideas for podcasts and merchandise. So anytime, send an email to Polly at BarkinWag.com with your suggestions. Welcome to Bark and Wag 15 Minute Vet Talk. I'm your host, Polly Requa. Today we're talking to Debbie, owner of Indy and Ollie's. Welcome, Debbie. Thanks. Thanks for uh, having me again. I'm happy to share what we've been up to recently since the last time we chatted. Yes, I can't wait to hear. So first, let's just start with the title of your business. What is Indian Ollie? We're, it's Indian Ollie's and we're a for-purpose dog bandana and bow tie company. We donate one for one to rescues and shelters to improve adoption photos, help dogs find their forever homes. And at adoption events, what we love doing is putting all the adult dogs in bandanas to make them stand out and look cute since puppies usually get all the attention. So our whole purpose is just making dogs look cute for adoption and helping homeless dogs find homes. The bandanas themselves, they're, they're handmade in Evergreen, Colorado. I make them all myself. They're reversible, so you actually get two in one, and it's a snap closure. We make all kinds of different sizes for the tiny doggies out there to the XXLs, like giant breeds like Mastiffs and St. Bernards and things like that. And then the unique feature is the um, for each of the donated ones, we donate one, so the customer gets to choose where that's donated to, whatever organization is close to their heart. Or the other option is we can pick many of our partners that are here in Colorado or any state across the country. We support all types of organizations from uh, breed specific to fosters to some of the largest shelters that are out there. And with that being said, we're always looking for new partners too. So we love finding new rescues and shelters to donate to. The more homeless dogs we can help find homes, the better. Oh, that's wonderful. How did how did you get started? Well, I feel really passionate about doing work you love, and I absolutely love, love, love dogs. <laughs> I've always had a rescue dog in my home uh, from growing up as a little kid until now. So I wanted to give back and support shelters and rescues in a big way, and that's where the one-for-one one came into play. And the name was inspired by Indy, a mixed breed who I adopted from Humane Society of Boulder Valley. We lost her six years ago. And then at that time, that's when Ollie Girl came into our lives. We rescued her from Enbran, which is the National Brittany Rescue and Adoption Network. She's still with us now. She's the face of the organization and the love of my life. (laughs) And a fun feature of the design is that To honor both of these girls, two little hearts are sewn in each bandana, one for Indy and one for Ollie. Oh, (laughs) what, what do you, what designs do you have for the holidays? Oh, we just transitioned out of um, autumn and Halloween and things like that into uh, seasonal styles with buffalo checks and woodland animals and holiday designs with ornaments and trees and candy canes and red and green plaids and things like that. So they're perfect for family photos and Christmas cards. So we met at a art festival and do you have any shows coming up that you're participating in 
in November, we December in the there. Denver area? Well, we had a really busy summer of markets and craft fairs every weekend. And recently we did the Conifer Newcomers and Neighbors Holiday Boutique, which was really great. Um, lots of people buy in Christmas gifts for friends and family. Now we're mostly be focused on website sales for the holiday season. And the bandanas are also available at Chowdown Pet Supplies in Evergreen. And so how do people get a hold of you? Well, we have our website, so you can find us online at www.indiallys.com. That's I-N-D-Y-O-L-L-Y-S.com. And then on social, we're on Facebook and Instagram at Indiallys, where we love featuring stories of rescue dogs and, of course, seeing all the doggies wearing the bandanas. And recently, we've had a few cat customers, too, so that's been fun to see. Oh, what a riot. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, thank you so much for being on the podcast and we hope you have a happy holiday and we, I can't wait to go on your website and see the designs. Thank you so much. You have a happy holiday season as well. Thank you for listening to Bark and Wag's 15 minute vet talk. If you like what you just heard, we hope you'll pass along our web address, www.barkandwag.com to your friends and other pet owners. Have a pressing question for a veterinarian? Ask your question at BarkAndWag.com under the podcast tab. This has been a KFR production. Join us next time for another edition of Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk.